We're back now to discuss the process of selecting the best school for your child. Many families are doing that right now. Whether you decide to send your kid to the neighborhood school or a public magnet school or public charter school, now is the time to make that decision. And to help us make that decision is a parent's guide to public schools presented by Voice of San Diego. And joining us now is the editor-in-chief of Voice in San Diego. Scott, thanks for joining us. Thank you. In full transparency, I love this guide. How did it all come about? Well, we were doing some podcasts a few years ago about the problem and the challenge of ch choosing a school because a lot of people, even if they choose their own neighborhood school, sometimes wonder if that was the right choice, right? And, and people were calling and asking us for a lot more advice on how to make that choice. And we decided that it was, uh, this was the kind of thing that people needed, uh, as much of the information as possible, and, and some explainers too as well about what some of these types of schools are, how the choice system works, and stuff like that. Why not just direct parents to what was already out there? Well, it was all in different places. So there was uh, one school site, the Great Schools has a certain amount of, of data. Uh, the state has a lot of data, but it's very hard to navigate. Um, and then we realized that there was a lot of people who needed more mobile, sometimes even more uh, paper copy uh, that aren't as, uh, you know, don't has, have as many online resources and stuff like that. And so we wanted to make sure they had something they could write on, they could look at, they could compare, they could take with them on the school tours and, and, uh, and decided to pull it all in one place. And this guide includes test scores, graduation rates, diversity, even absenteeism. Why does something like absenteeism matter? Well, we wanted to make sure it wasn't just a ranking of schools based on their test scores. Test scores are an important factor. They're an index, a part of the index that everybody should look at. But there's a whole other range of, of data points that are available we should look at. And one of them is absenteeism. If there's a high rate of absenteeism at a school, that's an indication that there's something wrong, that there's something um, that you should ask about, that you should talk about, and that you should understand. Maybe it's a cultural problem, maybe it's a discipline problem, maybe it's something else to look at. Grad rate's the same thing. And um, AP test takers. We, we had um, some schools where there's a lot of AP test takers and some where there's none. But then if you go to that school, they might say, well, we have a concurrent enrollment program instead with the local college. So there's a lot of factors that uh, one piece of data doesn't really capture. Now, a lot of families, we're in the situation where you're trying to decide whether or not to go to the neighborhood school. Right. And sometimes it's not exactly the right fit. Right. So what are the options? Well, there's, there's sort of different levels. You can choose uh, out of your, your neighborhood school, but into the same cluster of schools usually. Uh, you can ask for another option there, and we give you the data so you can look and, and see what is available about that. Uh, you can transfer within a district, and that's the window for most districts that's open right now until usually about April. Uh, you can choose another school and apply, and if they have space for you at another school within that district, you can get there. San Diego Unified is different. San Diego Unified's window is in the, in the fall, and that's uh, October, November. So if you want to choose a school within that window, that window already passed. Um, but this data is fresh for the next round. And, and then if you don't want a neighborhood school within that district, you can also look for special magnet schools. Uh, magnet schools are usually designed around a particular curriculum, arts and performance, or science and technology. Uh, and that's, those are schools managed by the district. And then you can also choose a charter school, and those windows are open now, too. So can you explain the difference for the, the parents out there or the guardians out there who may not know the difference between public school, charter school, magnet school? Right. So uh, there's traditionally managed schools, which are run by the district. Those are your neighborhood schools. Magnet schools are also run by the district. Uh, they just have a, a different program, a curriculum, like I said, and so it attracts different people from across the area. And then charter schools are overseen by the district. They have to get their renewal every five years from the district, but they're managed independently. So often they have a much more creative or different uh, sort of structure of curriculum. Their idea was to do test things, and if they work, then the whole district could, um, could apply them. Uh, often that has now become the default alternative for a lot of people in different, um, in different neighborhoods, and so uh, uh, that can cause a little bit of a rivalry between them and, and traditional public Something schools. Like and you're hosting some information sessions. Can you tell people what they can expect? Yeah, so people come in, they got their notes ready, they got their pins ready, and they have a lot of questions still about what some of these data points mean, when they were taken. Uh, there's a new rating we've put in here called the equity rating that we got. Uh, each school is rated uh, by greatschools.com about how their equity rating, uh, you know, how they treat different types of students from different backgrounds and how their, how their outcomes are. And, you know, that kind of thing is still a little confusing how that number is derived. And so we'll answer those kind of questions. Scott Lewis, Voice of San Diego Editor-in-Chief, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.